I am Anil Kumar. I have selected one video for each topic which you should know before starting calculus. So we are kind of reviewing functions. This video is very important for those who are just joining university or taking calculus after a break. The question here is find an expression for the cubic function f of 5 equals to 28 and f of minus 2 equals to f of 3 equals to f of 6 equals to 0, right? So uh, you need to find a cubic function with all that given information, right? So let's capture this information. We say f of 5. In function notation, it means value of the function at x equals to 5 is 28, right? And all these are zeros. When you say f of minus 2 is 0, we are saying f of 3 is 0 and we are saying f of 6 is also 0. That's a cubic function with three zeros. How do you get an equation for such a function? Well, that is simple. Three linear zeros, right? So we have three linear zeros and we can always write this function as product of these factors, right? So we can write this function as f of x equals 2. Uh, leave some space here and then I'll say x minus this value of 0. So x minus minus 2 makes it plus. Do you see that? Times the other one, which is x minus 3. Then this one, which is x minus 6. Now, can you tell me why I leave this space? This is because there could be many cubic functions which will satisfy these conditions. However, there is going to be only one which will satisfy the first equation, which is at 5, the value of the function is 28, and that gives us the value of a. So as I said, if I substitute 5 in this equation, I know f of x is 28. So I'll write 28 here and substitute 5 for x. So we get 5 plus 2 times 5 minus 3 times 5 minus 6, and that gives me 28 equals to a times 3, I mean, sorry, uh, 7, and this is 5 minus 3 is 2, and this is minus 1. So that is 7 times 2 is 14. So we get minus 14a equals to 28, or we get a equals to 28 divided by minus 14, which is minus 2. So we get the value of a. So now we can write the function. We say f of x is equals to a is minus 2. So we'll write this as minus 2 times x plus 2 times x minus 3 times x minus 6. So that is the expression for the cubic function which is going to satisfy all the given conditions, right? So let's kind of extend it to understand uh, how will this function look like. Remember functions, we could represent these functions in many different ways, specifically in two, four ways, right? One is uh, like words as we have done, then in equation, we could graph it and we can always represent it with data, right? So let me just graph this. So we have all these zeros and a value of five. So what I will do here is kind of, a, okay, let me just graph it here on this side. Okay, so we'll graph it on this side. Now, what we notice here is that at five, it has some positive value right and zeros at let's say this is uh, uh, okay let's say this is this is minus two for us okay and then we have three and six zeros at uh, three and then add four five and six okay so these are the zeros for us now cubic function could go like this or could go like this is it okay either way it could go. Let's try to sketch this function, right? To sketch this function, we have taken care of these zeros. Now we have to see where is f of 5. f of 5 is 28. So it's positive value. So we are expecting uh, 5 is kind of here, positive here, right? So in 5, we need the function to be positive. Now, if I'm sketching the graph of this function, in that case, the function could be kind of like this. If it goes like this, in that case, 
will not reach f of 5 value. So it makes sense to draw the function like this. Does it make sense, right? Draw the function like this. This is one way to check how the function should be oriented. The second way is to look into this leading coefficient, which is negative. If it is negative, that means right side is down, right? So right side is down also makes sense. So what we, and the odd means opposite ends. So then, therefore, we should actually sketch this function in this order, right? So we get a function like this. Okay, this should have been at six. Okay, so we get a function which can be sketched as shown here. Clearly, the point which is at five, we have to label that as f of five, which is 28. Do you see that? So this is 28 for us. And that becomes a very specific function with the given zeros at minus two, three, and six, and the value at five as 28. Do you see that? So that is how it is. And let me review a few concepts of polynomials here. If the leading coefficient is negative, right side is down. Do you see that? Leading coefficient negative, right down. Second, we have odd degree function, odd degree function, and that means opposite ends, end behavior is opposite ends. Okay, so that is very important to recall, correct? Okay? So that is how, one, we could write an expression, second, understand few characteristics from the graph. I purposely extended this question so that we get clear idea of what we are doing as we move forward and take up uh, some course on calculus. Thank you and all the best.